Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with On Point Politics and today we are looking at the latest individual poll in all of the states that are filled in blank. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. And so all of the states that are already filled in are the 2020 results for each of the respective states due to the fact that they have no recent polling data from the last two weeks. All of the states filled in blank, regardless of their party affiliation, have latest data that we are going to cover in this video. And the first state we're going to be looking at is the state of Washington, where Donald Trump is down by a pretty decent amount. Harris is ahead by a pretty decent margin in the state of Washington. She is up by 14 percentage points in this latest poll from public policy polling. She is above 50%. This was conducted from July 24th to the 25th with about almost 600 likely voters. RFK getting around, you know, mid single digits and Trump cracking, you know, a little bit above 35% there. That's going to put the state in the likely Democrat column. My actual forecast actually has the state as like a 12 point victory. So this poll is actually not that far off from what that actually shows there. The next day we're going to be looking at is the state of Oregon where Harris only leads by five percentage points. Harris is only at five per 45 percent in the poll. Trump is at around 40 percent. RFK getting high single digits here. And this is the first poll that was conducted out of the state of Oregon for this matchup. About 700 likely voters conducted from July 24th to the 26th by the Hoffman Research Group. And we can put that in the likely category for Kamala Harris. What's very interesting about the poll is that this is one state poll where the sample was actually pretty realistic compared to most of these other state samples. And so I'm very curious to see whether or not Donald Trump really is winning in an electoral college landslide because if the sample holds up here and this poll ends up being correct, that means states like Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania are going to be high single digits for the former president come this November. Looking at the state of California, Kamala Harris is ahead by 24 points in the latest poll, a poll conducted by Capital Weekly from July 25th through the 27th with about almost 2,000 likely voters, has Harris up by 24 percentage points in the state, which would be a five-point underperformance for Kamala Harris from the Joe Biden ticket of 2020. That still puts the state in the safe Democrat column. Looking at Nevada, Donald Trump is leading the state by around one percentage point there. And we can actually go ahead and look at This was a poll with 400 likely voters conducted from July 23rd to the 29th. So not necessarily the best poll because the polling you know, time frame is a little bit too long. This was conducted by Public Opinion Strategies. Trump at around 46%, Harris at 45%. This was not a third party poll. And so we clearly see that that is going to be in the lean Republican column for this video. Looking at Arizona, Donald Trump is ahead in the state by two percentage points. This puts Donald Trump at a lean margin in the state. And we clearly see a very big advantage. Again, another public policy polling poll with about 618 registered voters just conducted from the 29th to the 30th. And Trump is almost at 50% in the latest poll from the state of Arizona. That's going to put that state in the lean Republican column. That already gets Trump to almost 200 electoral college votes. The state of Florida, Donald Trump is up by seven percentage points in the latest poll. We go over here, we actually see conducted from July 24th through the 27th with about almost 800 likely voters from the University of North Florida Public Opinion Research Lab. We see Donald Trump is up here by seven percentage points. No third party poll, just a head to head. But Donald Trump leads by a likely margin in the state of Florida from the latest data point. Looking at the state of Ohio, Donald Trump is ahead here by 10 percentage points in a Fabrizio and Lee Associates impact research poll with about 600 likely voters. Ohio is known to have huge historical polling errors that underestimate Republicans. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Donald Trump win the state by almost 20 points in the actual election. This is gonna go in the likely Republican column for this video. Looking at the state of New York, 
we see that Joe Biden, or excuse me, Kamala Harris is leading by 11 points in our latest poll here. We actually had SoCal Research sponsored by us conduct a poll out of the state of New York, and we have Harris up by 11 points in the state with about 500 likely registered voters. It was a head-to-head -head poll. My model actually has Harris winning by 12 here, so pretty close to that poll that we did there. That puts the state in the likely Democrat column. Looking at the state of North Carolina, Donald Trump leads the state by two. Another poll from Morning Console, a very Democrat-leaning pollster with about 700 registered voters conducted in a four-day span from July 24th through the 28th. That's going to put the state in the lean Republican column and would be an, an improvement from the previous matchup there. Now, what's very interesting is Harris is actually up in a poll in Georgia and is actually the first poll out of the entire cycle where she's actually up in the state of Georgia. And we, it was conducted by public policy polling, about 662 registered voters conducted from July 29th to the 30th, so fairly recent. That's going to put the state in the lean Democrat column, giving those electoral votes to the Democrat candidate for the first time in our polling videos, basically in the channel's entire history. I don't think in any of these videos Joe Biden ever led in the state of Georgia. So that is a very big indication that even though maybe Harris is not necessarily the favorite to win Georgia because the aggregate has her down, clearly she has a sort of sign of strength in the state of Georgia that Joe Biden may have otherwise not had. Looking at the state of Virginia, we can see Donald Trump in the latest poll from FAU and mainstream research with about just 265 likely voters from July 14th to the 15th. Donald Trump is up by four points. We had Harris tied in our Virginia poll from the beginning of the month. That's going to put the state in the lean Republican column, basically bringing Trump near to that Electoral College victory with about four states left in the Rust Belt and one in the Northeast. And if we go to that state, Harris actually leads by seven, and it's an Emerson College poll. And they tend to be a pretty decently accurate, you know, pollster for the most part. About a thousand registered voters conducted from July 26th through the 28th. Harris reaching about almost 50% there. That's going to put the state in the likely Democrat column, basically leaving the Rust Belt completely up for grabs for either candidate with Wisconsin being a two-point lead in the latest poll from July 23rd through the 29th by Public Opinion Strategies, 400 likely voters, sort of a low sample size and too long of a collection data frame. And so even though that state's going to have Harris up by two, again, the polling here tends to be off by seven to eight points in favor of the Democrats. And so Donald Trump, if you were to apply the previous polling errors from both cycles, would probably be up in the state by like five to six points depending on the polling area you use. Looking at the state of Michigan, we basically have a tie here essentially. And so it could really go either way because the fact that Harris is actually up in the aggregate, I am gonna give her the state very narrowly in this polling video. Looking at Minnesota, Harris has a 10 point lead in the latest survey USA you know, poll. And we have it conducted from July 23rd through the 25th about 650 likely voters and we see you know Joe basically Harris is ahead by a pretty decent amount in the state and the final state is the state of Pennsylvania where Donald Trump leads by a single point from July 29th through the 23rd from public policy polling we see about 600 registered voters there the last poll had Harris up by 3 now Trump's up by 1 so that's going to be putting the state in the lean Republican column there and so after all of the polls are analyzed in this video, Donald Trump leads by 284 electoral college votes to Harris's 254 electoral college votes in all of the latest state polling data as of right now. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy more polling updates just like this and you want more election analysis from your number one stop for all things elections and polling in the United States. And I will see you guys in the next video.